Hello, welcome to Garage Talk. Today's topic is garage door opener wall station, specifically the lockout button or vacation switch on your wall station. This particular wall station here is pretty common um, with most openers made in the last 20 to 25 years. This is a LiftMaster one, but uh, Sears, uh, Chamberlain, Rainer, um, Rantec, Lanier, Overhead, Genie, they're all going to have a wall station basically with some layout similar to this with three buttons. It has an up and down button, a light button that turns your lights on and off, and then a lock button. On here it says lock, but on some models it might just have a picture of a lock. So what specifically does a lockout button do? Well, when you press this button, it engages the lockout function. That function blocks any remotes or keyless entry if you have one from working your door. Um, I know on Lanier that you can still press the remote button to close the door but it won't open it anymore until this is disengaged. So to disengage a lockout button on this model you'll press and hold this lock button for two to three seconds and then all the remotes and the keyless entries will work again. On the Lanier model it has a switch that slides up and down. So you just slide it in the opposite direction to disengage the lockout function. Now on newer models made in the last couple years, there's a lot more functions um, with the wall stations than just these three. But these are still made today and still used on your uh, standard garage door openers. If uh, yours has been in your home for 10, 15 years and it's worn out, or maybe this pad is broke, you can just replace the wall station. Um, parts aren't available for it, but the whole wall station itself can be replaced. Well, that's about it for wall stations for today. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to our channel and watch the videos following this one that might help you with another issue you might be having with your garage door. If you have any garage door or garage door opener questions, please email us at ask at garagedoorzone.com. And if you need any garage door or garage door opener parts or accessories, visit us at garagedoorzone.com. Maybe we can help you out. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time on Garage Talk.